modern British coins are continuing to take over the market with tons of interest. And um, my tip, if you can find one, is one of these coloured Eltons in PF70. Hey YouTube, it's new Mistaka back with you for another mega results video. And uh, the market for graded coins in the UK seems to be growing. I don't see very much of Europe, but certainly around the UK, there's lots and lots of people thinking about coin grading, both for modern coins like these James Bond shaken not stirred coins with the, uh, the rather dashing tuxedo, uh, both these ones and also a lot of much more numismatic older coins, a lot of coins being sent for grading at the moment. The piece of the drums says quality is the most important thing and the place to get quality coins is the coin connection. You get 2% off on the website by quoting the special offer code JOHN. Let's take a look at some mega results from those people who are grading coins with NGC and submitting them via Numistaka. And uh, we're going to go right the way through one of these big boxes. So uh, pull up your chairs, have a nice cup of tea, and we'll start with this Alderney Puffin coin. First one of these that I've seen. Pretty unusual coin to come in for grading. Next up, the Year of the Horse. Um, 2014 to 2016, lots and lots of Lunars were around. Haven't seen so much interest in Lunars since some of the other Raw Mint coins came up, but then not so many of the uh, Perth Mint ones either recently. Maybe that's because the Series 2 is coming to an end. Series 3 maybe hasn't been quite so popular. So what else is in the box? have these big coins from Canada, really weighty coin, this one, probably the, the one of the biggest ones you could fit into one of these regular size slabs. Um, nice coin, Olympics from the, uh, the velodrome and uh, kind of attractive Canadian coin. There's been quite a few of these that have come through. People, people consistently hunt these out and send them in for grading. So there's been quite a few graded. A lot of these coins come in as cleaned. I think people find them in their change and try and clean them. This one, I don't really quite know what to say. This is a brand new coin, the third one that was minted, um, and NGC have given it a proof bent designation. How the mint could deliver these things slightly bent is totally beyond me, and really this coin should go back and be re-minted by, I think it was the Popjoy Mint, that minted this coin. They should be totally ashamed of themselves minting a coin and delivering it um, with such a limited edition in a bent way. Lots and lots of these ones, Commonwealth Youth Games, um, you know, pretty popular coin, quite a, quite a rare coin. That's why it's being chosen to grade uh, 2011 from the Isle of Man. Here's one of my favorites. I really like some of these. I don't collect these co these commemorative coins, but I see quite a few of them come in for grading. They're quite a popular choice among people trying to build a series. Uh, Rabbi Burns and uh, one of his sayings on this coin. Uh, I've got a great mirror actually at home uh, with a Rabbi Burns saying around it, an arts and crafts mirror from the turn of the century. The, uh, the Kew Gardens, a, uh, a perennial favourite. And if you get a chance to visit the Kew Gardens to the Chinese Pagoda, um, then do visit it. Or is it a Japanese Pagoda? Somebody correct me. I'm sure somebody will correct me, depending on whether it's Chinese or Japanese. But lots of nice 50p designs. The Newton, I think, is a, a classic. Uh, I really like that. One of my favourite ones of recent years and pretty low mintage and desirable. You're getting a few of these graded because they come out of the 2009 year set. So people buy uh, or find the year set and then they figure they've got to get grade everything in the year set because they're breaking out the Kew Gardens to get that graded. This one, a 68. I have managed to get a 70 in this 
very, very occasionally. 68's not bad, 69's better, 70's almost unattainable, um, but it's a shame that one got a 68 nevertheless. Another Kew Gardens, Proof 63, not a particularly great grade. You see those go up to Proof 69. I did actually have a mechanical one to give NGC back that came through. Uh, I may be in this box, may not be uh, in this box, but it was a 2019 that they had mistakenly dated 2009. So that's got to go back and have the label changed. This one's a really nice design. Uh, really, really nice design, that one. Sherlock, another one that's really, really popular. That one's a pie fort or a pied fort. Um, quite a few of these pied fort coins uh, in gold are going to come through and you'll see those over the next few weeks um, because the Royal Mint made a pricing error on their website and let go some very, very valuable gold pied fort coins at a low price and were gracious enough to honour their pricing mistake, which uh, so kudos to the Royal Mint, very, very impressive to let them go out at the error pricing. So uh, that's a great thing for collectors and generates lots of excitement well beyond the money that you've lost on those coins, Royal Mint. 69 on the gold Kew Garden. Uh, my favorite is the gold one, I'm a big gold fan. And 69 is a very, very good grade on this because there are almost no 70s. It's a very difficult coin uh, to get graded in high grades. So uh, well done to the, uh, the person who spotted that opportunity and got that one graded. This one is a uh, first one in a set of three. There's actually three showing different aspects of Concord. And I absolutely love Concord. I'm looking forward to the next supersonic plane. I just missed going on Concord. There was an offer I saved up 50, 50 subscriptions to um, a flyer magazine to try and get enough points to go on Concorde. Just as I got enough points, they took Concorde out of service. So I never managed to fly it, but if anyone did, it must have been a fabulous experience. Queen coins, oh dear, a 67 is not good. The quality of these coins from the mint has not been good. Um, 70 in this coin is very, very hard to get, and in fact, um, like I was saying at the, right at the beginning of this video, on Elton John, John coins, on Queen coins, um, anything in the top 70 grade is going to be very problematic to get. Those coins are going to go for a premium, so if you find a way of picking up a 70 in any of those coins, then pick it up because chances are if you put it into an auction it'll do very, very well at 70 because there simply are not coins to go around at the highest grade. Uh, only a very few of them have been graded 70. Something like 2 in 10 of those coins are achieving a 70 at the moment, which is pretty sad, but it is um, certainly going to be a pricing opportunity for those that do achieve a 70. What's next up? We Oh, this one is fun. I love error coins, and this one is a whopping great big nasty error uh, how this one got out of the mint god only knows now i don't know what was happening the day this one escaped you wouldn't normally expect to see this kind of stuff uh, escaping because you would have thought that sovereigns uh, you know would actually have a pretty good uh, review for quality but this one got out it's in the uh, the really nice sovereign label the modern sovereign label uh, and it's an error coin, probably one of the few error coins. Talking about error coins, this one is just absolutely, totally absurd. How did this get produced? It is a two-headed coin with the same die on both sides. So it's obver two obverse dies were put in the machine, banged together, produced this coin. How does that happen without someone at the Mint playing games and setting up the machine to do this on purpose? Uh, I really don't understand how that could have been a mistake, but uh, pretty nice coin and, and really you very rarely see two-headed coins, really nice. Leading on to a, uh, a very, very beautiful PF70 Proof Sovereign, very nice. Another beautiful Sovereign, but this one didn't make the 70, but even in a 69, this 2017 Sovereign 
is uh, absolutely fabulous um, and really pretty valuable. Here's another one that did make the grade to 70. But you know, these things were selling at 600 pounds um, six months ago, and they're now close to a thousand pounds for the same coin. Here's the Elton John. So we've got, there were 7,000 of these coins, quite a big limited edition from the Royal Mint. A lot got sent for grading, but I can tell you that almost all of them are being graded to 69. I said, I've sent maybe 15, 20 of these coins to be graded now. Only a couple of 70s have come back out of those coins, even where they've been conserved. As I say, similar to this one, the Queen 69. 69s in this have been doing pretty well as an auction. Um, that may or may not continue. I don't know. I think the high auction prices will probably continue at least for the next six months. We'll see how it goes. 2005, uh, no design. Um, very nice, very collectible. Oh, this one's fun. This is the, the first kind of James Bond coin. Uh, a little bit simpler in design than the Royal Mint one. Um, I think I prefer the Royal Mint one on balance, but that one is uh, made by the Perth Mint for Tuvalu. And here's another one of those um, Concorde flight ones, the 50th anniversary of Concorde. Got a 69, but uh, I don't know the addition. I've, I've, these are the first ones I've seen in for submission for grading. So I don't know whether this was a pretty limited edition. It may very well have been. These ones I particularly like, um, and uh, this is a set of coins produced to celebrate uh, space achievement. Uh, and it's uh, legal tender in the Marshall Islands, uh, wherever the Marshall Islands are. And each one has a, a theme. You've got the spacewalk uh, on this one. Uh, I think they're just made really nicely. I mean, for some reason, a number of them got a 69, but actually, at this critical point, my phone uh, decided to uh, die. And so a few coins were missed, so apologies for that. But we can end this video on a couple of really nice coins, uh, the very nice Gillick Sovereign, um, a couple of those in really nice grades. And I think it looks really good with the modern Sovereign label. And uh, the one I really wanted to show you is right at the end of this video. Uh, it's not a coin that I bought this time, but a couple of people did. And this is the first one that's come back from grading as of first releases. This is the very, very low mintage BU version of the Five Sovereign for 2020. Mintage was very low. I think the lowest of any Five Sovereign um, coin. And these might be one to watch for the future. There'll be very, very few of them in that first releases blue holder. And uh, if you see one of those at a price you think you want to pay, then uh, don't hesitate on that one and get it, particularly if it's an MS70 matte coin like this one. So, there you have it, another Mega Results video. Hope you like that one. Um, and uh, there'll be another video along as soon as I can make one.